Hello and welcome Pixels! 25 Games is here and today I want to show you how to create level of detail meshes in Blender. I will show you what you need to prepare in Blender to get a functional working FBX for Unity and your game project. Please keep in mind that Blender 2.8 is still in beta and I got the build on 1st June. This video is made with the video editing tool Camtasia 2019 from TechSmith. Check out our link in the description below. First of all, what is level of detail also called LODs? And where do we use them? Level of details is important creating 3D assets with a high polygon count for games. Basically I am not sure if it is as well important for rendering. I have no experience about this. Anyway. Level of detail works with the range from one object to the player or the camera. If the player is standing very close to an object, you will see the asset in all of its glory. But if you see an asset far away in the distance, you don't need a fully detailed prop. You are able to spare performance by reducing polygons of your 3D object. Usually LODs have more than two meshes and you work with three, four, five or more increments. It depends on the distance which kind of detailed mesh is shown to the player. In best case the player don't see the transition of one mesh to a higher or lower level at all. This is as well a reason why you're creating more increments of one 3D asset. The process of exporting your 3D asset is as well very important, so that Unity is able to recognize your intention to work with level of details. I will talk about all the necessary steps for exporting, the naming convention and all the tiny little things you need to do to get the working FBX file for Unity. Let's switch to Blender now. Basement. I have a finished 3D prop here. It is fully textured and the mesh geometry is tidied up. We have to work a lot with the outliner in this episode. So far I have a cross plane and my rootstock in two separate collections. Only one single mesh is in the rootstock collection. Naming convention. The very first thing for creating a level of details is the naming convention. It isn't important to give the collection a proper name. No, it is the mesh itself. This mesh with this amount of details is my top quality level with the highest amount of pixels. And yeah, I know this is not a high poly mesh, but this prop is for our game Cortex the highest quality prop. Two things are important so that everything is working with the naming convention. You need to give it a name without space. And you need to give it the ending underscore LOD and a number. In this case we have the highest level for the level of detail system. So I give it the number 0. In front of this ending you can describe your asset. Just don't use the spacebar. But you can work with underscore or whatever you wanna. Datamate modifier. Your first level of detail is finished. Now we need to create simplified versions of this by reducing geometry. For sure you can start now to reduce vertices by hand. Or you use a modifier which decimates your vertices automatically. Duplicate your collection. You are able to duplicate only the mesh as well. But I prefer working with the collections here. Rename the mesh and the collection. In this case we have underscore LOD1. Select the object and go to modifier. Decimate. The only thing you need to do 
is to edit the ratio. You can give it any ratio you wanna. This depends on the number of your LOD meshes. I usually work with about 4 or 5 LODs and give it the ratio 65 to 70% for 1, 45 to 50% for 2, 25 to 30% for 3 and 12 to 18% for 4. So our level of detail here will get about 65 to 70% ratio. Maybe we will adjust that smith a little bit later, but let's head on first. Duplicate your mesh or collection again. Adjust the ratio. And so on. Important is that you need to apply the modifier, if you think everything is fine. Now check the single meshes. Is there something you need to adjust? We are close to be finished here. For sure, your meshes should all be prepared properly for your game engine. For example, where is the origin, freeze values and so on. The next step is the export. It doesn't matter if you are working with the collections, layers or only the meshes. Be sure to enable the visibility to all of them. Now select your single LOD meshes, starting with the lowest. Just select more objects with shift plus left click. The last selected object should be LOD0. Now go to File, Export, FBX. In the Export settings on the left bottom side here, enable selected objects. In our case only Mesh and Experimental Apply Transform. The naming convention for the name of this object is not deciding for the LOD system in Unity. Just enter a proper name for your project. Here is a little checklist for all the necessary steps to create a proper LOD FBX. Everything is prepared to import this FBX to Unity next. I will just prove in Unity now that everything is working. Bring your FBX to your project and then to your scene. You see immediately that Unity recognizes it as an LOD object here in the scene and in the inspector. In my next video I will talk about the correct implementation of LODs in Unity and how you can easily replace an already implemented prefab with the LOD FBX. Everything's clear? Or do you have any more questions? If so, write them to the comments of this video below. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos and have a nice day. Cheers!